representing TCU, head coach Jim Schlossnagel, starting pitcher Alex Young, and shortstop Keaton Jones. Coach, if you'd begin with an opening statement. <clears throat> well, congratulations to Vanderbilt. Uh, heck of a ball game. Uh, obviously thought uh, Alex pitched outstanding, and we had some opportunities, and either uh, – you know, Pfeiffer made pitches or uh, or right or uh, or they made plays. And Alex, uh, you know, was just outstanding, as good as he's been all year long. Never been more proud of him. Had opportunity to fold early in the game against some of the very best hitters in the country and made great pitches. So I thought when we got through that inning that some good things were going to happen, but uh, we hit a few balls hard. Keaton in particular just hit, 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 hit his to the to left center field instead of pulling it down the line the way uh, – Xander did, so great ball game, and Frogs will be back and ready to go Thursday night. Open the floor to questions. Begin with Kendall. Kendall Rogers, D1 Baseball. Jim, uh, the last couple outings by Alex have just been tremendous. Uh, when you look back at that NC State outing, it wasn't so great. What's What was kind of the difference between maybe some of his previous outings and his last two, because he's been pretty rock solid? Well, you know, he uh, he had all three pitches going tonight. You know, the key key for Alex, uh, his entire career, and it's, he's been so great at it lately, is just managing his way through the through the adversity that comes with, you know, being a starting pitcher like he did today. You know, had the base, you know, ended up with the bases loaded and or second, third, one out, whatever it was, and and pitched his way through it. So um, he did that last week against A and M, and then caught his rhythm. You know, that they, they were threatening him in the first three innings, and we made some plays. He made some pitches, only gave up one run through those first three innings, and then he pitched outstanding. And then, you know, same, same thing today. So just like any other good starting pitcher, he's, he's evolved into being an elite guy by managing his way through the tough innings. Carlos? Uh, Keaton, Carlos Mendez, Forward Star Telegram. Uh, Keaton, you guys are 4-0 in elimination games this year, but does this one on Thursday feel like there's more weight on it than the others? Uh... Well, I haven't really thought about it, but I mean, I guess I mean, I guess it does because it's the end of the season. But I mean, all elimination games are. Um, are. Um, for us, we're not really thinking about that. We're just going to play our own game and you know just play TC brand of baseball. Adam Sparks, Tennessee, and for Alex, uh, if we were to describe this as a really, really good performance with only one bad pitch, is is that fair? Is that accurate? Do you think the home run was the only bad pitch he had all night? Yeah, it was just one mistake, and his bat just ran into the ball. I mean, every other pitch I was thrown for a strike and just bad luck. Ben Weiner of the Vanderbilt Hustler. Alex, it looked like you were bearing that slider out of the zone uh, early on. Can you describe your uh, – Describe your strategy that brought you success early on in the game. Uh, you know, just being able to uh, establish my fastball early on, even my changeup, and then uh, just putting guys away with my slider. And uh, the one that Xander Wheel hit, just, it was a changeup that just happened to run to his bat. Put a good swing on it. Aaron? Aaron Fit, D1 Baseball. Alex, when you're in a groove like that and, you know, it's a nothing-nothing game deep into the game, I mean, do you kind of get into the – uh, you know, the dual part of it and the rhythm, and you kind of enjoy, um, you know, just the whole atmosphere, the stage? Uh, I mean, it's just like every other day. Just go out there and compete. Um, just being able to throw quality strikes, quality pitches, and just doing it what I'm supposed to do, not really changing what I'm out there to do. So just keeping it simple. Kendall? Kendall Rogers, D1 Baseball. This is for Coach and Keaton, I guess. Uh, what was Pfeiffer able to do to kind of keep you guys off balance uh, tonight? Keaton, if you'd begin. Um, well, he made a lot of good pitches. Um, he used his curveball. He threw his first, a lot for strikes, and I think um, using his fastball and his curveball kept us off balance. Um, I think mainly the use of the curveball was good for him, especially against those lefties. Coach, you have anything to add? <clears throat> Just, I mean, I think he pitched at the bottom of the zone most of the night. You know, I mean, he had – I mean, I wasn't in the batter's box, obviously, but he—I think he had a little slider too. He threw—he threw his breaking ball two different speeds um, that I could see, and uh, just everything is—you know—he never elevated the ball. Carlos, uh, coach, uh, what? Uh, speaking of the uh, at bats, were they disciplined to you as you were watching them? What'd you see throughout the night? I just anything. I mean, I—you know—you can sit here and complain about the at bats, and that takes away from the pitcher. I mean, he. I mean, I think he was great. Uh, the only thing I, I felt like is when we had some opportunities there, um, I thought our guys, they're really trying hard. We got some, Our swings were a little bigger. 
Um, you know, a c couple guys were just trying to be the hero, you know, which is nothing wrong with that. It's just the, the key is that we just have to stay in control of ourselves and, and put good, you know, put better swings on the pitches that he gave us. But you can nitpick that game apart like crazy. I, I actually, seeing the video, I didn't think it was a bad pitch that Alex threw. I mean, it was a changeup, right? It was a changeup. It was down a little bit middle in, and, you know, he's, it's, I think it just kind of ran into his bat path. And not to take anything away from him, he did, he, he's the one who hit it out of the park, but it wasn't, a, it wasn't an elevated pitch. Um, you know, if, uh, Alex made that, makes that pitch a thousand times out of a thousand, and, and usually it goes our way. We have time for three more questions. We're starting over here. Uh, yeah, Josh Davis, WFA TV. Alex, uh, you have career high for strikeouts tonight. Did you feel like this is the best game you've ever pitched? Um, I mean, just like every other time I pitch, I just guys just happened to swing and miss at my curveball, and um, you know I was just trying to throw everything for strikes, and everything was working tonight, so it just it just happened to go my way. Gil Lebreton, Fort Worth Star Telegram. Jim, your team has been so focused on on going all the way and, and getting maturing and being a veteran team. How do you think they'll handle this this momentary setback? I think they'll handle it the way they have handled everything else all year long. You know, the way we handled losing a game in the in the uh, regional, the way we handled losing a game in the super regional. Those guys, I mean, they'll be ready to play. That doesn't guarantee success at all. Uh, but you know, we certainly. You know, we feel confident in our pitching staff that, you know, can give us a good chance. I mean, we know that LSU has a great team. Um, and obviously Vanderbilt sitting there after that if we're fortunate enough to advance. But the, in 25 years, I've never trusted a team more than, than this team. <clears throat> They're unbelievable human beings. And uh, I believe in them. And I still believe we're going to be hanging around here before this thing's said and done. Final question here to Bradley. Yeah, uh, Brad Hardcastle, TCU360.com. Uh, Keaton, uh, you went up against Kyle Wright at the end of the game. Um, he struck out for over two innings. Uh, how was he giving you all trouble tonight? Uh, he worked the bottom half of the zone really well, especially the outer half, um, throwing both pitches for strikes, and he was just locating really well. I'd like to thank the student athletes and Coach Jim Sloshnagel for joining us. TCU will play LSU on Thursday at 7 p.m., TCU will be the home team in that contest. For additional interviews, please coordinate with TCU SID Brandy Davidson outside this room.
Representing Vanderbilt, head coach Tim Corbin, first baseman Xander Wheel, and the starting pitcher Philip Pfeiffer. Coach, if you begin with an opening statement. Well, I'll let the kids do the majority of the talking, but um, from a, a game standpoint, it, it felt like a championship style game uh, in, in every way. I think once we got through the third or fourth, you felt like it, one run could possibly make the difference, and, and that's the way it, it shaped up. Uh, Jim's team's good, very good, a lot of different ways. Um, I, I thought Young was obviously very, very effective, and I credit him because once he, he found that we were going to make moves to pitches below the strike zone, he, he kept forcing that, and uh, he, he pitched very, very well. Uh, the one, one ball made the difference, you know, and that's the one Xander hit out. On our side, uh, you know, I've, I've got a lot of feelings about what Philip did today. I, I, I just think that th this kid drove to Omaha last year by himself just to watch this thing uh, because he wasn't a part of it. So uh, him pitching the way he did tonight and him basically at peace, all I remember tonight was him walking back and forth in the dugout with a smile on his face and said, hey, fellas, we're in Omaha, and he continually said that. But I think it showed in... Uh, he was very tranquil on the mound. He was at peace with himself. He was executing his pitches. And I don't think there's anyone here that enjoys being in Omaha the moment more than he does. And I, I credit him. I'm just happy for the kid in so many different ways. So um, we're fortunate. Just a very well-played baseball game. We'll open the floor to questions, begin with Kendall. Kendall Rogers, D1 Baseball. Tim. With the margin for error so small, mm. with the way Young was pitching, what you know, kind of, how do you kind of assess Philip uh, from just a stuff standpoint, just his approach overall tonight? Well, it was it was outstanding because he really had to to match Young in a lot of different ways. I, uh, to me, the third inning was the biggest inning of all, just because we we had a situation and we were building an inning. Uh, I, I know that the strikeout and we got to first base, but after that we bunted the ball well and set up a bases loaded situation with one out. When the inning broke down, and I, 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 I can't recollect, but I think the leadoff hitter got on for them, but uh, Phil did a, an outstanding job of just closing that inning. That probably could have been damaging for Vanderbilt had they scored, but they didn't. And then his push after that was just so consistent. I, I just felt very good. We all felt very good about him. and how he was uh, approaching the plate and how he was approaching their hitters. Uh, he had to pitch that way in order for us to have a chance tonight. Here in the third row. Ben Weiner of the Vanderbilt Hustler. Uh, Xander, what did you see that made uh, Young so effective early on? And then what did you see when he, you hit the home run? Uh, I mean, he just did a great job against us. He was you know, locating the fastball in and out. He was able to backdoor the slider and put in, uh, like Coach said, he would throw him low, and we were going after him today. So he was just really able to uh, keep us off balance. And um, in the in that at bat, I was just um, he threw me a changeup, and it had been higher than the rest of the ones he'd thrown. It still wasn't a terrible pitch, but um, it was it was hittable, and I just put a good swing on it. Adam Sparks of Tennessee, and this is for Phil. Um, what did you think the College World Series would be like, and what was it like? Um, it's lived up to expectations so far. Uh, I mean, it's obviously the, the best venue for college baseball in the country, um, hands down. And I was just trying to soak in every minute of it um, that I could while I was out there on the mound. I've been looking forward to this moment for a really long time, um, you know, and playing it over and over in my head. And, you know, I feel like taking that into today's game was kind of, you know, uh, what, what kept me at peace. Um, you know, I just I'd seen I'd seen that game before, you know, so it was just enacting, you know, what had been playing in my head. Michael. Mike Lanana, Baseball America. Xander, just with, with Alex the way he was pitching early on and with all the strikeouts, is it tough to remain confident at the plate at that point? How do you guys regroup? Uh I I'd, I'd say you probably take a hit, I guess, a little bit mentally. Um but you know, with Phil pitching the way he was, I don't think I think that everyone thought that we were going to be able to make a push. And um, you know, you never think that a solo home run is going to do it. But you know, the way our pitching staff threw today, it was it was incredible. Phil going strong seven, and then K Dub coming in and uh, closing the door. So 
You know, I don't think anyone was down. People were still up there competing, but uh, they did a really good job. Are there any additional questions? Aaron? Aaron Fitt, D1 Baseball. Xander, you're on kind of a, a roll right now. You know, come up with these clutch hits and seem like, you know, you were able to go the other way yesterday and pull one today. Um, your approach, you know, uh, right now, can you kind of describe what you're, uh, what, you're, what you're doing when you go to the plate, what your plan is, and do you just feel really locked in right now? Uh, well, aside from the home run today, I struck out three times. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I guess sometimes when you do something like that, it uh, helps to forget about the bad ABs. But I think that uh, last year actually really, really helped because you kind of get, <clears throat> I don't want to say overwhelmed when, when it's your first time experiencing it, but seeing it a second time, it just puts you a lot more at ease in, in this venue. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to go up and compete every time and put a good swing on a ball and hit it hard somewhere. And, um, you know, I've been able to do that the last couple of days. Here in the third row. Adam Sparks, Tennessee. And, Tim, uh, you kind of talked a little bit about Phil and, and what he's gone through. From a personal standpoint, how happy were you that his experience turned out to be as good as it did the first time? Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy he's – He's here. I'm just happy he's a part of the team. The fact that he's able to to pitch and then pitch well is probably is more than my expectations, to be honest with you. Uh, I didn't know how he would do in this moment. He's pitched very well for us last couple of weeks, but you never know what it's going to be like uh, when you step out there for the first time. But he contained himself so well, and I really felt like he was enjoying it more than any other person out there at the at the time personally you know it's he, he, he personally I am just so overwhelmed by it because the fact that he's here and just playing for us it's 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 such a good story from a human comeback uh, thing from a personal standpoint just that he's able to to be wearing a uniform, still going to school, and and still live a normal life, uh, that supersedes everything. You know, it supersedes the game. But just for this moment, it, it's it's great for him personally. I'm, I'm everyone's tremendously happy for him. Take two more questions, starting in the fourth row. Yeah, it's Pat Borzi for the New York Times. This is for Phil. Um, you're hearing all these wonderful words your coach is saying about you. Um, what about your experience here last year do you think helped you stay so calm and so at peace today? Um, well, I think, you know, from from one perspective, I had no idea what Ameritrade Ballpark looked like, you know, until I drove up here and saw it. Um, you know, other than, you know, through TV, but TV tends to, to distort things a little bit. Um, you know, secondly, um, Coming to terms with the fact that they didn't need me to win last year, um, selfish as that is, I think once I swallowed that, um, you know, my ego deflated, um, and I had a realistic appreciation of of myself and my skills. Um, and lastly, you know, I think uh, I think just visualizing being in this this scenario um, in the situation like it was tonight, um, you know. I, from one side of the ball, you know, you, you would love to have 20 runs scored um, just because it makes things easy. Um, but, you know, from, from a competitive side, you know, you want that one nothing ball game. Um, and they gave it to us. They, they really did. You know, that's a very strong team. So I think, you know, just, just visualizing what, what playing in the College World Series is like, you know, is, is probably the biggest thing that helped me. We'll take one final question. Seeing none, I'd like to thank the student athletes and Coach Corbin for joining us. If you have individual questions, please coordinate with Vanderbilt SID Kyle Parkinson. Vanderbilt will return to action on Friday, and they will play the winner of Thursday night's game at 7 p.m. Thank you.